I've run into an issue, and it's an issue that I've been wanting to prevent to happen uh, at the very beginning of what I wanted to do. My Ponython project uh, has uh, a uh, little problem that I feel the need to point out right here, and the problem is um, this. This is the script for the Ticket Master Ponython review. And, um, why is this an issue? Well, uh, you can see right here. There is literally only two pages of this, or actually, uh, if I were to compress all of this text together a little bit, uh, this could, uh, this, I feel like all of this could fit within a single page of the script. Why is this a problem? Well, the problem is that um, uh, because of this, this review is going to be a very, very, very short one. It's not going to be very interesting to look at and it's not going to be a very interesting one to make. And that's my big gripe with this particular episode. So to give you a little bit of an idea of um, what this actually is, this is the uh, script for the Ticket Master episode. Ticket Master. T the Ticket Master episode uh, from Friendship's Magic Season 1. Uh, it was the second episode uh, to... Uh, or actually, it was the first real episode to be actually released from Friendship's Magic, uh, apart from the Friendship's Magic two-part premiere. And um, it's immediately one where I was having a really hard time to think of something to talk about. Because honestly, there is not much. Uh, basically what the episode is about is that uh, Princess Twilight obtains uh, two tickets or receives two tickets from Princess Celestia for the Great Galloping Gala. It's some kind of big party that they're going to be uh, holding in Canterlot and uh, Twilight is allowed to bring some pony with her uh, to the party, right? So um, uh, each one of the main six come uh, come out at her uh, telling... Uh, uh, that uh, why they want to go to the party and they would uh, try out all kinds of different things to get her to give uh, them the ticket and it uh, goes on and on and on and on like that until uh, Twilight eventually decides you know what no I can't decide uh, who to uh, bring with me uh, I'm gonna send back the two tickets that I have only to then uh, receive six tickets for the Great Galloping Gala for all of her friends so she can basically just bring every uh, one of her friends with her and uh, that's it that's the entire episode uh, so it kind of uh, repeats itself a lot uh, throughout the thing and it does a couple of things there are some fun moments in it but it's not an, uh, it's not gonna be enough to really make an entire episode on uh, so that kind of throws it out of the window. I could talk a little bit about how it is um, kind of showing you a little bit more of who the characters are. It shows them um, uh, what they do in their everyday life and uh, it shows a little bit more about their personality. But other than that, there's not an awful lot to talk about. And even if I want to mention that in the actual review, there really is no point because I already pointed it out briefly in... Uh, the French of His Magic two-part premiere review of this. So, um, if I were to do that, I would be um, repeating mis myself too. If I were to point out literally every single thing that happens in the episode, I would be repeating myself too. And so, uh, if I were to make the review about as long as this episode, it would be a very boring review. Nobody would be interested in actually watching this. So do I want to make uh, a review of this episode? Well, actually no. Uh, I <laughs> I actually just gave you a full review of the um, of the entire episode just now. Uh, it's a fine episode. It's uh, got a lot of good moments in it. It is pretty fun if you're looking for something to distract yourself with. If you just want to have something fun to watch, this is gonna be perfectly fine. Uh, th th there's a lot of good stuff in there it's just not a very interesting episode to talk about uh so 
I'm probably not gonna be making an entire review out of this. Uh, I may do uh, a short, a very short review of this at some point. Just not for the Ponython. Uh, maybe I could do this in um, uh, for uh, like an entire rundown of the entire Great Galloping Gala arc. Because yes, this is an entire. There's an entire arc of this. So I could do an overview of the uh, few episodes that had to do with the Great Galloping Gala. I might as well do that. And I uh, will bring up this episode in there as well. Uh, just so um, we can uh, kind of get a little bit of context of what the, uh, what the arc is going to be about and everything. Um, but other than that, uh, for the uh, actual Ponython solo reviews... Now, we're not going to be doing... Ticketmaster for this. Um, Ticketmaster earns a 7 out of 10 if you're very curious. Check it out if you're um, wanting to, uh, I don't know, uh, check out an episode that is just overall fun to sit through. Uh, don't think about it too much. Don't um, think about how it could be so much better than it is because the episode as it is, is perfectly fine. It's... Um, uh, not gonna be fantastic or anything, but it's fine for the silly scenarios. All right, that's it. That's your review of uh, of Ticketmaster. <laughs> I'm very sorry that it um, had to be in this very cheap, not that interesting format. But this is the best that I can give you for a Ticketmaster uh, review. <laughs> it's not gonna be much more than this. I uh, greatly apologize for this. Uh, next time, I promise you, it's gonna be a lot more interesting than this. If I can just, um, recheck, uh, the episodes list here. Because there, um, I always follow, uh, the list on, uh, the Wikipedia page here. So, next Ponython review is gonna be Apple Buck Season, as you can see here. First episodes to be written solo by, uh, Amy Keating Rogers. So that's gonna be very fun indeed. I can't I can't wait to um, to get started on that one. I will be writing the script for that very soon. I've also um, already started writing the script for Griffin the Brush Off, which is gonna be a collaboration with somebody. I'm not gonna spoil as to who I will be collaborating with. There's just a collab coming up. That's all you need to know. Anyway. That's it for uh, today's episode of Cohen's Corner. Uh, <laughs> once again, sorry that it had to come to this, but uh, I promise next episode is going to be a lot more than what I could offer you today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I see you in the next one. This is Cohen from Phoenix Star YT signing out. Take care and stay passionate.